in this video, we are going to be talking about correlations. Um, now, if you say two things are correlated, uh, what you are saying is that there is a relationship between them. So a correlation is a measure of the extent to which two events vary together, <clears throat> and thus how well either one predicts the other. So if two things are correlated, it means that if one goes up, the other goes up, if one goes down, the other goes down, or potentially if one goes up, the other one is always going to go down. Um, they're always going to move in relation to each other somehow. Uh, so what you need to know for correlations for this class, one is the correlation coefficient. And what a correlation coefficient is, um, is a mathematical expression of the relationship. It is going to be a lowercase r, always lowercase, never uppercase. And it is going to be some number between negative 1 and 1. It is impossible to have a correlation coefficient that is less than negative 1, and it is impossible to have one that is higher than 1. It is going to be some number in between those. Uh, and what the number is tells you the strength and direction of the relationship of the correlation. If you have a correlation coefficient of 0, that means there is no relationship. Nothing is going on if it's 0. Uh, so you want something besides 0. And again, this is going to tell you strength and direction. So what tells you the strength of the correlation is the number not, um, well, actually the absolute value of the number. Uh, so ignore negative or positive. It doesn't matter if it's below zero or above zero when it comes to strength. It just matters what the absolute value of the number is. So a correlation of negative 0.9 is equally as strong as 0.9 because in absolute value terms negative 0.9 and 0.9 are the same if it's the absolute value it means there is no such thing as a negative so negative 0.9 positive 0.9 same absolute value same strength the closer the number is to 1 so either negative 1 or positive 1 doesn't matter when it comes to strength. The closer it is to 1, the stronger it is. And what it means is how closely they are related. Uh, another way to say it is how well you can predict one variable if you know the other variable. So if you have an absolute value of 1, so that would be a correlation coefficient of 1 or negative 1, then 100% of the time, if you tell me what one variable is, I could tell you what another variable is. Uh, that's going to be perfect. You're never going to really get that. Uh, the closer it is to 0, the weaker the correlation. So if your correlation coefficient is 0.1, it is going to be very hard for you to guess what the other variable's location is, uh, how the other one varies, uh, because they're just not very strong. Their relationship is not strong. And we'll talk about this a little bit more in class, um, exactly what that means. Go over examples. But strength, just look at the absolute value. You want it as close to 1 or as close as to negative 1 as possible, as far away from 0 as possible. The other thing the correlation coefficient tells you is the direction. Uh, and that is whether it is below 0 or above 0. So if it is a number below 0, a negative number, what that means is that uh, they go opposite each other. So if one goes up, the other goes down like this. So a negative correlation, one goes up, the other goes down. An example of this would be exercise and weight. So the more you exercise, the less you weigh. That is going to be a negative correlation. Um, or uh, the less you exercise, the more you weigh. Um, another negative correlation 
could be something like the more orange juice you drink while you're sick, the fewer number of days you're sick. So if you think that vitamin C in orange juice is going to help shorten your cold, then the more vitamin C, the shorter the cold. So that's going to be any number below zero, any negative correlation is going to have the variables go in opposite directions. Uh, and so besides a negative correlation, any correlation that is above zero in the positive range we call a positive correlation. So that is going to uh, look a little bit like this if you have a positive number it's going to be this if uh, you have one variable going down the other variable is going to go down if one variable goes up the other one is going to go up so for example calories consumed in weight is going to be a positive correlation so if you're on a diet the less calories you consume you assume the less you're going to weigh or the more calories you consume because you're on vacation the more you're going to weigh they always move in the same direction whether it's up or down does not matter now what can trip people up with this is the idea of negative versus positive these are not value judgments this is not a good thing this is not a bad thing all it means is what direction they go in so for example age and cancer are positive correlations so the older you are the higher your cancer rate that is not a good thing but it's a positive correlation so make sure you remember positive does not mean good thing negative does not mean bad thing it only refers to what direction you're going in so if you have a correlation coefficient you're able to tell do they move in opposite directions or do they always move in the same direction and how closely are they going to move together and so the easiest way to see that is through a scatter plot so a scatter plot looks a little something like this you have a graph and you are going to plot points on your graph so for this one we will say this is we'll just stick with what we've been talking about so we'll do exercise and um, weight so again this is going to be a negative correlation because the more you exercise the less you weigh uh, so we'll say let's say it was a perfectly strong correlation that would mean it has a correlation coefficient of um, we'll say if it's perfectly strong negative one can't get any stronger than that so what you do with this is that you basically go around and say how much do you exercise what do you weigh uh, and you create little dots based on what people say so I work out a lot and I don't weigh much bam you become a dot um, I weigh a lot and I don't work out bam and if it is a correlation of negative one as you go around and ask people it's gonna look like this it's going to be a perfect line because if it's negative one you cannot get a closer relationship so you can automatically guess how much someone exercises based on weight if you weigh this much you are gonna work out that much and you're always gonna be right in your guess because they always move together perfectly since it's a one um, now this is not and you know this is a negative correlation because when you're high on exercise you're low on weight when you're high on weight you're low on exercise uh, the real world does not work like this so usually it's gonna be something if it's still a pretty good one but just not awesome it's gonna look more like this now if it's a correlation like this you can make a pretty good guess how much someone works out based on what they weigh but you're not gonna get it right a hundred percent of the time uh, so for example if they weigh this much do they work out that much do they work out that much 
Do they work out that much? You're not totally sure, but you could give a pretty good guess. If it was a scatter plot that looked a little something like this, I would say that'd be a correlation coefficient more along the lines of like a negative 0.7 or maybe 0.6. So it's not perfect, it's not like a negative one, but you can make a pretty good guess. Uh, so to switch it to the opposite, to do a positive correlation, we'll get rid of exercise, and we will get rid of all these dots. Okay, so a positive correlation, if it was a perfect positive one, it would be one. You can't get stronger than that. And an example would be calories and weight. The more calories you consume, the more you weigh. Now, this would not actually be a correlation coefficient of one. That is not 100% accurate. You cannot guess how many calories you consume 100% of the time based on your weight, but we're just going with it. Uh, so because it's a positive one, you know if you're low on one, you're low on the other. If you're not eating a lot of calories, you're not going to weigh a lot. And because... It is positive 0.1. It's going to look like this. 100% of the time, you could guess what one variable is based on the other. They're always going to move in the same direction. The more you weigh, or the more calories you consume, the more you weigh, you can always guess. Again, not going to be common. A more realistic one, if you were going to have... Uh, do a different one. If it was a correlation coefficient of 0.2, that is not going to be a very strong correlation. It is going to be really hard to guess one variable based on the other. That is going to look a little something like this. Um, generally, they're moving in the same direction. but uh, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. So if you kind of squint, it, you can kind of see how it goes in this positive direction. Uh, if you're low on weight, you're low on calories for the most part. If you're high on calories, you're high on weight. Uh, you know, these areas are sort of not covered, but it's a much harder guess how many calories you consume based on what your weight is. Um, and you know that because that is closer to zero. That number is not very close to one. Uh, so a scatter plot is a great way to tell what is going on. Um, and then the final version would be if it's zero. If it's a relationship of zero, it would look like this. So there's absolutely no relationship. You cannot guess one variable based on the other because you have a correlation of zero. Nothing is going on here. So correlation tells you about relationship. The coefficient is going to tell you uh, the strength, how easy it is to guess one based on the other, as well as whether it's a positive or a negative one. And the scatter plot is going to be a picture of that. Um, and in class, we will talk about causation and go over some more examples.